mind if I do. And I'm back at my desk. Um, I think this video is probably just going to be a pretty quick video because I uh, just went to a couple stores today. Um, as you saw, Walmart. I went to about three Walmarts and nothing. Um, I've just been stalking Brickseek to check for the new Avengers wave. And um, I kind of got tired real quick because I'm starting to get sick. I've had a lot of recent pickups. Um, and then some of the mail, which you can see over here, kind of. And um, a few traits. Just to start off with uh, one of the surprise finds that I had when I was at Barnes & Noble. Is I got the uh, Mr. Rogers um, puppet. Um, Barnes & Noble exclusive. So... That was pretty awesome to find, and I actually found two of them. And that brings me to one of the more exciting trades that I've made recently. Um, Alex, who I mentioned in my last video, who I made a trade to get the Hascon Deadpool and the uh, Carnage, um, he made a trade with me on a figure that you guys know I've been looking for. And just for a little clue on the box, if you guys know, well, without zooming in or anything, you can see number 67 is on this box. You guys can probably get a guess on who that is. And, of course, it is Forlom. Um, very, very pumped to get this dude. Um, was not expecting it. And um, Alex was an awesome dude. Well, tried to help me out. And uh, I helped him out by getting a pop he was looking for. So I was glad we both uh, worked out a deal to get something in our collections we were both looking for. So uh, one more bounty hunter into the collection. But honestly, it's a great figure. Um, I know it's hard to find, so that kind of goes into it. But um, it's not even just a C-3PO body with a different head. It is a brand new sculpt. A lot of articulation. Um, there's actually the little pegs that connect his uh, forearm to his upper arm that most of the droids have. Um, that actually can uh, slide down. So it allows it to move a little bit better. Um, so that's really my only Black Series pickup uh, in a trade. Um, this video is basically going to be a lot of pops, because that's what I've purchased recently. So um, um, one of my first pickups, which is pretty awesome, is the uh, Invader Zim um, Pop Ride, which comes with uh, Zim, Gur, and the Pig. So I um, was a big uh, Invader Zim fan when I was younger. Watched that show basically every weekend or whenever I was home from school. So, uh, had to get this pop. As soon as I saw the promo pictures for it when uh, it first got released, I mentioned in my last video, I ordered some pops online um, on Pop in a Box. Um, only the first half came in and I opened those. Um, I was going to put it in the video, but decided not to. So, I got the uh, Pennywise with Spider Legs, which, great scene in the movie. Um, of course, you guys know I love it. And have to get all the Pennywise pops. Um, so got spider legs, put that next to the Pennywise chase, of course, because they all go together with that one. Um, and then, unfortunately, <laughs> the two Bevs that I ordered came in as both standards. Um, the other Pennywise that I got in the mail was the Amazon exclusive. He's got the little arm, you guys can see inside there, the severed arm. Um, I love how it has the blood splattered on the window, kind of like uh, the Bev and Georgie Chase. So I'm definitely going to still try to get that Bev Chase uh, at some point. Hopefully I can get lucky, like Barnes & Noble or Hot Topic. Um, but unfortunately the box is kind of bent. Um, you can't really see it on the camera, but there's a big dent on the side right here. And then uh, some of the corners are smashed, but um, kind of goes with the uh, damaged look of this pop. So it's all right. I actually filled out the... Uh, replacement form on Amazon just to see if I could get a new one and they just refunded the pop completely and said I can keep it so I guess that's a good trade-off um, of course that's kind of a loophole on Amazon if you can just refund every single pop you get anyway uh, I've got the uh, it's movie moment with Pennywise in the gutter um, awesome uh, movie moment idea yeah so I got the movie moment um, I might open this one might uh, make a display with all of my Pennywise pops that I have. And you know, now that I think about it, I have a box to open. <laughs> this right here. I think this actually might be the 
other Pennywise uh, FYE exclusive, because I got this in the mail and I had no idea what it was, so I was going to do a surprise opening, but I think I actually kind of just figured it out what it was. I have the rest of my pop in the box, or uh, the rest of my pop in the box, um, pop haul, so it's my two Georgie Pops, the chances of chase, so I could either get two chases, one chase, or no chase at all. So let's hope for a chase. Um, I'd be totally okay with just one. So we'll save that one for a second. And we'll open this one right here. I don't know why I completely forgot about it. Of course, <laughs> as I'm going through the different Pennywise Pops that I have, oh yeah, there's that one that I'm getting. So um, I have sick brain right now, so that kind of makes sense. Um, try not to cut myself or cut the pop. but Because I remember, because I got home from work today, and I saw this, and I was like, wow, that's mysteriously pop-shaped. And an idiot like me forgot, uh, what he's ordering. So, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's what I thought. Let's get out of here. All right, I think we got four Lum under control, because he keeps falling over. But, uh, yeah, we got uh, Pennywise with wrought iron from FYE. You can see the iron rod all up in his grill. I, uh, officially have all of the Pennywise pops. So... Getting on to the part that I'm very nervous about, because I just have a feeling that I'm going to get zero chases. Maybe I'll do this one in a way where you guys find out first, and then I find out. That sounds like a good plan, All right? So let's uh, open this guy. All right, so let's see if I can do this without looking. Here's one of them. Without looking, you guys are going to find out first. So here's this one. Don't know what that one is. And then here is this one. So putting the box down, not looking. Let's see which one. That's a normal. And that's a normal too. That, uh, that sucks. Oh well. I guess I... Uh, We'll still be on the hunt looking for a Georgie Pop with the chase. Yeah, so that was really disappointing and very anticlimactic. So uh, thank you to Pop in a Box for being very uh, much of a buzzkill today. I did have a good experience with them. I think I mentioned before with the Crash Bandicoot Pops, but that was probably because I ordered three. So if you want to chase, okay. probably go to order three. But to uh, brighten our spirits a little bit, just got some other pops to uh, show you guys. I actually got the Tommy Boy, the uh, fat guy in a little coat. And of course, Tommy Boy. Um, this movie was actually filmed not too far from where I live, in uh, Sandusky, Ohio. So that's pretty cool. It's where uh, um, Cedar Point is. So if you guys have ever been to Cedar Point, in the theme park, that is where that is. The other one is I got the uh, box lunch Wally for Earth Day. Very cool looking pop. I just like how the uh, the whole box is recycled. And you can see that because it's brown. So a very cool pop. It's uh, figure is twenty percent recycled material. I think somebody said it was you or they used um, Olaf pops to melt it uh, down and make this one. So that's interesting. And just to remind everybody, I have the glow in the dark Hades, and I am still desperately trying to get a glow in the dark chase. Red Hades. So if anybody out there has an extra one and they are willing to sell it for a good price or trade it, let me know because I would be happy to trade because I have a few other chases I can trade, a few other random pops, and even some uh, Marvel Legends and Black Series. I think this next week or so I'll have some time off, do some more hunting, and that's when you guys will see me. So, uh... And just kidding, not going to end the video just yet. Still a little bit under the weather. I was driving around looking for the Avengers Infinity War wave. I don't know if I mentioned that yet or not. Uh, I went to a couple Walmarts to no much, uh, not much luck. And the entire time that I was looking for the wave, my GameStop that is literally right down the street from my house had the figures in. And I had Thor and Black Widow pre-ordered didn't think they'd get him in in time and then of course the entire time I drove like 30 minutes away looking for the wave and uh, 
they had them at GameStop. So I'm gonna go get those right now and uh, we'll see which ones they have. Got the Wasp. It's looking very good. Um, that face printing really pays off for the MCU figures. And as you guys know, ever since my first video, I've been trying to build up my MCU collection. And uh, this is actually my first um, Black Widow figure. So, very good one to get. Obviously with the uh, face printing technology. Um, very good looking figure. Um, now, I do... I don't love the extra price that I have to pay for GameStop um, for figures. But it does kind of reserve your, your figure... Because you can do pre-orders there, you can put them on hold, that kind of thing, and it just makes it a little bit more easier. And plus, with like the extra, maybe like four dollars I would have paid at GameStop compared to waiting to get it at Target or Walmart, um, I probably would have spent that driving around using gas anyway. So, GameStop's close by, so I figured it'd be all right. Um, this is the uh, figure I was most excited for was Thor. Um, I feel like this wave will be kind of like the um, the homecoming wave where some people waited and then they weren't able to get it because it was such a popular wave because it's the one that comes after the movie where everybody's freaking out about it. But uh, then we got Mr. Paul Rudd, Ant-Man, um, Mr. Scott Lang, also known as. Um, so yeah, some very awesome looking uh, figures. The only gripe that I had... Um, was the th you probably won't be able to see it on the zoom in um i'll have to look at this later but uh just a few little speckles on thor's face it's okay though probably scratch them off they don't look like they're paint they just look like they're extra plastic that we're just chilling on his face or something but um yeah so got the uh four mcu figures from the wave collectors that don't by MCU figures, Malekith and Black Knight were two that uh, are gonna be most wanted for them. So those might be a little bit harder to find for a little bit, um, but I'm not too worried. Um, obviously, I want to get them to build the uh, Cole Obsidian build a figure. I think I might actually go to Target and then kind of wrap this video up. Um, I think I was about to, <laughs> well, I was about to end the video in the, the last scene at my desk, um, but a few other things came up. So uh, maybe this won't end up being a rather short video, but uh, just a average length video. So I will see you guys wherever I end up next. So yeah, I'm not even going to show what they had in Target because they had nothing. Um, even if they did, it was gone by, uh, by probably yesterday. So uh, that's about everything. Um, I was going to go to Walgreens, but... Um, I don't think Walgreens has been getting anything at all recently. Uh, probably won't be hunting there until Silver Surfer or The Thing starts showing up around the uh, Midwest. But I'm going to go get some breakfast and uh, go home and open these figs. Uh, probably won't record the opening and review of those, but uh, maybe for another video. But thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you guys later.